Ang ating mga opisyalis ngayon, uh, ngayong hapon, Robert Ting, uh, Tronji Eldaba, and the Supreme Court Justice today is Boy Cruz. So, kanina yung winning streak kaya ang mapapatid, mapapatid uh, ngayong hapon. Ang uh, Tokyo Tech, sila po yung naka-asul. At ang San Miguel naman, sila ang nakaputir. Phone files on the scoreboard right now, 2 to nothing. Here's Seagull. Uh, reach in, early reach in fouls, spotted uh, against Dick Pablo. It's gonna be a tough matchup, no? Para dito kay Big Pablo para habulin ito si Danny Siga, especially si Danny Siga is uh, uh, always coming out of picks. So, important rin yung help defense dito ng mga big men of Pop and Dex. Wala pa pong puntos ngayong hapon ng San Miguel Beardman, the Mighty Mouse, invading uh, the shaded lane. No goal for Tao Laban. Pippin by Carbona, no goal. And a loose ball ends up with the Danny Siegel on the move. Danny Siegel loses the ball, and it will go to Talking Tech. Yeah, good uh, hustle there by Harvey Carey, preventing that fast break for Danny Siegel and the Beerman. So a minute having gone by here in the opening period. San Miguel on top of the team standings with eight wins and two losses. Uh, itong Sokitek sumahabol with 5 wins and 4 defeats Benya with the rebound As the Beermen uh, look to tie the ball game uh, No layup there para kay Ontiveros Naulava Double team And the basket No It's a foul Oh, tinawag dito he has it all lava and he didn't like that well, call. Get some space against Dorian Peña. Rosella. May give isang dekada ng naglalaro sa PBA. They're the best quarterback for the Beard. Oh! oh! A move! Unstoppable along the baseline. Dondon Ontivero. A surprise slam dunk coming from Dondon Ontivero. And that really pumped up his teammates, no? Pati yung mga nasa bench, napatayo. Comes as no surprise however, para dun sa mga fans ni Don Don sa Cebu. Kung uh, saan siya sumigat. In the meantime, a whistle is blown. Okay, good. Oh, at siguro si Mac Macardona was prepared in closing out, extending out to kay Don Don Ontiveros. Don Don Ontiveros did the right thing. Giving uh, Mac Macardona a different look, driving strong to the basket. That's how you want players to uh, drive, take it strong. Not necessarily dunk. Yes, yeah, so dunk. Tamayan. But uh, take it strong. That's right. And you know what? You have to read the defense. No? Tsaka hindi ka lang dapat one-dimensional. Hindi yung puro outside shooting. Hindi puro depensya lang. I always thought you were a multi-dimensional. Di malaman ng mga tao nung gagawin mo. Mahirap kasi ako yung scout. Especially your coaches. Here's Tao Lava. Balancing actor along the baseline. Tao Lava inside. Pinasa kay Cardona. Cardona has the basketball with 12 on the shot clock. Pocket takes down by two here in the opening quarter. Tao Lava against Peña. And the ball ends up with Pablo. Yes, sir. TM Tres. Big time in the bottom TM. Power to the people. Good recognition there by Asi Taulava. Nakita niya, nagko-collapse yung defense nitong uh, San Miguel Pierman. So, good kick-out pass to the wide-open Vic Pablo. Turn around. Uh, sweet move. Um, uh, PBA MVP, Danny I. Talagang pumalik na rin yung gilas ng laro nitong si Danny Ildefonso playing inspired basketball this conference. The shot there mula kay Cardona. Here's Rosella. Rosella natin kay Danny Siegel. Siegel spins. He's in trouble. Pinasa mo na kay Ildefonso. Big lang pinasok sa loob kay Peña. He has nowhere to go. Ontiveros fishing for a foul against the rookie Cardona. You know that one good fake by Don Don Ontiveros caught uh, Mac Macardona jumping in the air. At yun, so mabit. Ito nga Mac Macardona. Kung hindi po naging uh, basketball player itong si Don Don, malamang tao, magiging electrical engineer siya. Baba? Sigurado? Pero of course, eh, pinalad itong si Don Don. 
making a name for himself uh, sa Cebu as a demigod of basketball. Talagang uh, hulang na lang eh, uh, sumampalataya sa kanya yung mga bata dun sa Cebu. Watching him play for uh, the University of Cebu. In the meantime, here's Alapag. And there's Antibero stopping the ball away. And the is completed by Danny Siegel. Siegel against Alapag. No, oh. no contest. Yeah, yeah. Pero, you know, I'm so ready to go on Antibero. That's one facet of his game that has really been underrated. Right? Uh, Depends on it. Good anticipation of the pass. Breaking up the offense of Talk and Text. At ito na. Yung mismatch na si Samo, Danny Siegel against Jimmy Alapag. So dahil dun sa defensive effort ni Don Don, Danny Siegel is on the line. Si Alapag po ang ng foul, his first personal. May takong team fouls na laban sa talking text. And a beer man, off an 11-5 start well, in this conference. Without a, without a shadow of a doubt, uh, Danny Siegel has been lean has been mean. Very, very, very well said. Tsaka ano nga eh, ito si Danny Siegel not only scoring now, but rebounding very well for his team. After his, uh, parahin pa nga siyang uh, rebounds sa average uh, compared to Daniel Defortes, averaging 9.5 rebounds a game. In the meantime, Vic Pablo connected on his second TM3 sa pinsenyo ng bagong TM, power to the people. Nag-mitis doon si Ontiveros, three-point ball game in favor of San Miguel. Right pass issued by Alapag. Had a good idea though. Right action, Corbin. Make sure you release yourself. Masadong lang marami talaga mistake of jumping in the air, at uh, kaya wala na siya maputan don when uh, Harvey Carey was covered. Right the Beermen have been playing so well. Lahat ng San Miguel players na naikita nyo sa court ngayon maglalaro sa All Star Game sa kagayan di Oro. Alapag scoots in for two. Alapag also will be seeing action in Cagayan de Oro along with Asitao Lava. As, uh, they will lead the South team against the North All-Stars. Nasusunod na linggo po yan. Cagayan de Oro in the Samis Oriental. Peña Paso. That's a great matchup right there. Dorian Peña and Asitao Lava. Two white bodies going at each other. What about Vic Pablo off to a uh, hot start here in the ball game? Chano, we've been talking about the veterans of uh, San Miguel Pierre. Vic Pablo. Wow, the line. And he completes a three point play. He already has 11 points. 11 of the 13 points of talking text. But uh, dahil kay Pablo, tabla na ang laro. At 13 all. Marcel on the right side. Uh, eyeball to eyeball with Alapag. Six and a half to go in the opening quarter. Great pass by all seven. There was a defensive lapse there. Kasi nangyayari dyan ito talking text. He's trapping the pick and roll. So dapat may defensive rotation. Si Torian Peña. At na buo ni Peña ang uh, three-point play. Sa nakatuwid, labang po ng tatlo ang San Miguel 16-13. Mahigit anin na minuto pa ang natitira dito sa unang yuto ng laban ng San Miguel at Talk and Tech. Pablo, he has been red hot here for the third bounce. Six to shoot for Talk and Tech. Pablo will a court and it's good! Tito Perez on the top of the Power to the people. Jake Pablo has been a one-man wrecking crew for Talking Text. Almost matching the entire output of San Miguel. 14 points na itong si Pablo ang San Miguel here. 16 points in this quarter. At tabla na naman tayo at 16 all. Another 6 minutes to go in the opening quarter. Rasella to Danny Siegel. 7 to shoot. Siegel goes inside. May tumukot dito kay Siegel. It's against Tao Lava. So it's going to be number two. And the fourth bounce will hit the limit here with 5 and 44 remaining in the first chapter. And that's going to be trouble for the phone pass dahil na penalty na nga sila. And uh, itong San Miguel is the best free throw shooting team in the league right now. Kenya with four to shoot. Napangga si Asidot. Marama checking his eyeballs are still in place. Accidental contact there for, uh, between Dorian Peña and Asi Paolava. 
Ah, si, ah. Eh. Pag-usap pa dito kay uh, Peña. Here's Alapal. Yung kanyang pass. Broken up by Ontiveros. But recovered by Carrie. Nice pass for Asi. And he scores on the game. First two points for uh, Paolava. So very patient with Bokken Tech to their offense. Getting uh, extra passes. That's why na of course sila underneath. And also this is that uh, under goal layup. Another five minutes to play in the opening quarter. Ito na naman si Pablo. Almost, but not quite. He will, however, uh, receive three free throws. Lagi na iiwan for a few seconds dito si Big Pablo on that secondary break. They have to locate Big Pablo because he's been very hot in this quarter. 14 points already. May problema dito ang uh, San Miguel. Ha? Si Danny Siegel meron ng three personal fouls. And we're still at the opening quarter. A double block ay ito dahil uh, three-point attempt yung kay Pablo. Kaya may three free throws. Ang dating King Camarao. Uh, this is a big problem for Coach John Wichico, no? Dahil nga sa 3,000 tong si Danny Siegel has been uh, their leading scorer. And uh, ano kaya gagawin ni Coach John? Will he uh, leave Danny Siegel here with 4 minutes and 52 seconds in the first quarter? Or pagpapahingay niya muna? The trip to the line has been unproductive para kay Pablo as uh, Thriller Miller goes in in place of uh, Cardona. Tactical uh, strategy or tactical substitution. Oh, Miller coming off the bench. Zero out of three. And that trip to the... We were discussing free throws at the start of this ballgame. You know, eh, kasi itong uh, talk and text... Uh, uh, the worst in free throw shooting. One man wrecking crew para sa phone pile, scoring 14 of the 18 points of talking text as we go to Eric Reyes. Well, Mikot, ng mga beer men, nakausap ko yung kanilang uh, assistant coach, si Coach Boybis Victoria, ang sinabi nga niya sa akin na uh, prior to last game nila against Air 21, kabado na sila because they felt that they were gonna lose that game or talaga mas mahihirapan sila because of uh, their practices before the Holy Week break. Kaya naman na nung pagbalik nila, nagulat sila with their performance. Well, they would really credit that to their uh, off-season preparation. And yung, yung uh, mentality nila kasi ngayon is makabawi from last conference. Yung sama ng uh, performance nila, gusto gusto talaga nila bawi in this conference. And uh, going back to the conversation that you had a while ago about my uh, blood hairdo. Hindi nakalimutan. Hindi na pwede, pwede eh. Kasi nagtampo na yung buho ko. <laughs> Masado ka na siguro. Sabi talaga eh. <laughs> Namatay na. <laughs> well, yeah. Tingnan natin ang three-point shooting. Oh, Pablo not missing from the from the field. Nag-intis nga lang siya dun sa kanyang uh, tatlong free throws. Pero alam mo, yun nga eh. Ba gusto bumawi na sa Miguel. Kasi nga, last conference, one of eight sila in their first nine games. So kaya talagang gusto nilang mag-start strong. Yung pala makalimutan yung sinabi ni Eric. <laughs> Ay, honesty is the best policy. That's all I'll have to say. Four and ten remaining in the opening quarter. At may pito. Si Peña tatawagan ng foul. And it's going to be his first position uh, of the quarter. Manyala, both teams are already in the penalty. First foul on Harvey Carey. And uh, check that, si Carey ang tinawagan oh, si ng foul. Carey, okay, okay. And the penalty na nga itong uh, talking text. Okay. So, Tumasin to rin dito after that timeout. Si uh, Brandon Kablai played very well in their last outing. Scoring 14 points for the Beermen. I think that's the best game for Brandon Kablai ever since. He transferred in the third time. So yata itong ano ah. Nagbabago mga kulay ng book ng talking text. <laughs> of course, si Asi matagal ng blood basket kung si Asi. Oh. I think si Leo Avenido na una to kay John Ferriol. Oh, no, na. Kasi recently oh. lang si uh, John Ferriol. Yeah. You go story of the ball game. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So, uh, kung uh, some of you are shooting a little bit better than uh, talking text. Avenido. No goal. There's Rasela. Antiveros against Miller. That's a good matchup. 3 and 39 remaining in the opening quarter. I haven't heard much from Danny I in this ball game. Yes, only two points so far for uh, Daniel Defonso.
Second time of a loose ball foul was spotted on Dorian Peña's second personal. In the meantime, a loose ball foul was spotted on Dorian Peña's second personal. At kanina pa nga nasa penalty ang uh, dalawang kapunan. And this will uh, work for uh, Token Tech because uh, they can have uh, itong uh, starters ng San Miguel in foul trouble and it will force Coach John Chico to uh, get players coming off the bench dahil na sinabing natin kanina itong starters ng San Miguel has been really doing the damage against their opponents scoring in uh, double digits from the hat at uh, starting five ng San Miguel. Oh, ito, yung third plant bombshell ng Pocketex. Si John Ferriols is now in the ball game. Chris Calagio is in for uh, San Miguel along with Mix Noble. Mukhang bagay kay uh, Ferriols. Silence is broken. <laughs> I will let your silence uh, answer that question. Switch is on. Switch is on. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. 3 and 14 remaining in the opening quarter. Peña. Pinaligiran outside on Siveros. Yes, sir. TM Chris. And inside in a pocket key. Power to the people. And that will expand San Miguel's lead to five points. Uh, the first part of this ball game. Kita mo, nung matake na umatake sa loob ito San Miguel. And the Dodo Nath Guerra has been very patient in waiting for his opportunity from the outside. That's when he's here. Ito, nakabawi ito si John Ferriols. He's coming also. A good ball game uh, against Santa Lucia. Under three minutes to go in the opening quarter. The fly. This is the jumper. Here's Miller. Miller on the move. He's going to step on the gas. And step on the brakes outside Alapa. 16 to shoot para sa pocket text. They're down by 3 points. 23-20. Alapa over to Abinito. No. Lee Post para kay Taulava. There's a drop. Step up shot. Abinito wanted that shot. After uh, getting denied the first time at the post. He's very patient. So San Miguel now up by just a precarious point. 23-22 with under two minutes to go in the opening quarter. Benya. Cross court. Chris Catalio. Yes, sir. PM players have inside in the PM. Power to the people. So after doing the damage from the inside early this ball game, Don San Miguel is going to their outside artillery. Ngayon naman, Chris Palacio, tumama na sa scoring for San Miguel. Abat ang lamang ng beer men, 26-22. After two minutes to go in the quarter, Miller all going under the bridge. But not convert. Here's Kablai. Kablai to Ontivero. Yes, wow. sir! CM Press and it's a in a modern CM. Power to the people. Impeccable shooting on the part of San Miguel here in the first period. Three straight TM press coming from the Beermen. Created some space between them and the four stars right now. Ito na ang hinahabol ng Bogget Rex, 29-22. Under a minute to go in the first period. Shot coming from Jimmy Alapag. Brandon Kablai was all over him, pero still managed to finish that uh, layup. Here's Kablai. Oh, oh boy! It is blistering inside the big ball. Four straight three-point shots coming from the Beermen. Well, uh, talagang kailangan mag-extend out na itong uh, defenders ng Token Tex. As uh, dahil nga nawala yung isang uh, scoring threat. Actually, dalawang uh, inside presence ng San Miguel. Na si Danny Siegel at si uh, Daniel DeFonso. Now that they brought in the shooters, the shooters have started to click. Enya will zip down and Daniel Defonso has fielded uh, back in the game. Daniel Peña, second lead, leading rebounder in the PBA. Number one rebounder ngayon, Asi Taolaba. On the line is Jimmy Alapag. Alapag makes it a six-point ball game in favor of San Miguel, 32-26. Dahan-dahan ang nauubos ang oras dito sa opening quarter. Ayaw na ngayon iwanan ni Avenido si Calagio. Here's Calagio. He fakes, he fires. 
And he was caught dancing with the wrong pair of shoes. Ayan, ganda na yung fake ni Chris Calagio that time. Natawagan lang na traveling. Pakitex with a chance for uh, to take the last shot in this quarter. So Don Mendelano in the ballgame for the first time dito sa mga matitirang uh, bahagi ng opening quarter. Mendelano coming in for Alapag. 19 seconds to go before uh, the end of the opening period. Ani mga inaabol ng Pakitex. Eight to shoot for the fourth pass, going for the last basket of the opening quarter. Fall away by Miller, no go. Tapik ng Tiberos na huwag ni Kaplay. One second to shoot. At the leading in action here in the second quarter. It is set again on top by Sergio Kaplay. Immediately makes it an eight-point ball game. And a good follow-up to a great ball game of Brandon Kaplay in their last outing. Ang dalawang re-impress na. At re-impress pala yung Brandon Kaplay. So that was a nine-point lead. Now it's a seven-point lead as uh, Terriol scores to uh, cut down the deficit as we look at the first quarter field goal shooting for both teams. Wow, about yes, 61 and 48 percent. Like you, 48 percent, not bad. So roughly half of your shot going in. Kaya pala when you were looking at your report cards, nung nag-aaral ka pa, 48 percent, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Ito sabi ko sa mga tulang mo. Talaga yun eh, A for effort na yun. Okay, let's go to Eric Reyes. Well, Miko, galit na galit si Coach Derek pumarin nung last huddle nila because they were known for their defense kaya sila naninalo. Pero ang problema, masyado raw sila slow motion at well, they're not that active on the floor. That's why kailangan talaga mag-close out sa shooters. Pero I'm sure magagalit na naman si Coach Derek because nakasot na naman si Chris Calagio. They really have to stick close to the shooters of San Miguel. Back to you guys. You know nga eh, whenever they collapse on the, on the big guys, hindi sa mga kick out, medyo na uhuli lang sila na konti. Step too slow in closing out against the shooters at ito na nga, pinauulan na sila ng outside shots Noble called for a foul that's his second personal first uh, team foul laban sa San Miguel Pochuino is in the game for the first time para sa talking text joining Delano, Miller, Ferriols and Cardona Here's Cardona on the left side. Pinalik kay Belano. Belano on the move. Belano all the way. No go. Bola na kuha ni Kiko Adriano. Na kakapasok din sa ating ball game. Pinigay kay Kablay. Kablay na napasa na patik si Cardona. It will stay with San Miguel. Yeah, three-point field goal shooting. San Miguel, isa lang ang minitest. Pero token text, not bad. Dalawa lang ang kanilang minitest. Three of five. So it's been a shootout here in the first half. Kaya nga lang, mas... Mas marami, sunod-sunod kasi yung nangyari dito for uh, San Miguel. I'm not really sure if uh, Derek Pumarin wants to see a shootout uh, between his team and San Miguel. Yeah, I'm very upset because this is the second unit of San Miguel on the floor. You prepare talaga based on the statistics. Nice break by Miller. Tiffany Perriols, wala. Pangga, si Cardona, si Adriano, bola na pulot ni Ulti Fonso. Nagita naman natin yung free throws. 3 of 10, may pared, struggle pa rin itong mga talk and text. Kung ang talang ang San Miguel, di nagbintin. Milano in the corner. Milano on the baseline. Reach and foul spotted against Adriano. Medyo nahirapan itong uh, talk and text sa zone defense na pinapakita uh, nitong uh, San Miguel Beerman. They have the right idea though of attacking the zone, getting uh, mga penetrations and then kicking it out outside. Mario, in the shit lane. Good pass, si Milano. Here's Kablay. Kablay on the move. Calagio spots up and it won't work. And you know, even if Chris Calagio missed that one, magagali talaga si Coach Derek Kumarin doon because that was an open three na naman. An open look at the basket. 
So, you know, going down the floor in transition defense, you have to locate the man. See you lahat kayo, nagpupunta sa gitna. At, uh, you know, two guys guarding one, one man. Si Belano, tinawagan ng kanyang unang personal foul. Second team foul, lapat sa talking text. You know, the key to the recent success of San Miguel has been the rejuvenation of guys like Danny Siegel and that man on your TV screens, Daniel DeFonso. Grabe talaga, no? It took, they took it upon themselves when uh, Nick Velasco was traded. That uh, yung role nila will be expanded here in the team. And for them to be successful, they have to be consistent. And that is what yun ang ginagawa nila in their last six games. So, my time out for Ryan. Yes. Yes. Apply one of uh, the many peer men who will be flying over to KMPO. Pwede na sila mag-practice ko, eh, no? Kasi sila laging makapag-insight sa kompleto. Mac Cardona getting a two-point basket. Pero lawa pa rin ang Greve Puto from San Miguel, 39-30. Lots of time remaining dito sa second period. Oble wasn't ready for that pass here is Benano. And go for Ferriol! Oh! Medyo no off-balance na si John Ferriol kaya pinasa pa niya. And we have some color developing between Nick Oble and Don Bel Belano. You have to remember, kanina medyo tinamahan rin ito si Belano. Ni Noble. Oo, ni Noble. Parang nasigo. Oo, at hindi pa... Kanina yun, oo, kanina. Hindi pa nakakalimutan ni Belano yun. Hindi naman nakakalimutan talaga yun. Siko, anong, uh... So, what seems to be the problem? Ayan, ayan, makikita natin yung nangyari. Ayun, tinamaan ng uh, Siko nitong si Mix Noble, si Don Bel Belano. Yun yung nangyari kanina, kanina pa. Kanina, oo. Oh. At yan, inahawa ka ni Noble si Belano. Sabi ni Belano, pitawan mo ko! <laughs> okay, nabigyan ang delay of game morning. Ang dalawang ko po na. Adios! Scores a 15 footer, six points off the bench for the former NBA MVP. And you know, for Thomas like, to get back in the small game, although they're only down by seven points, Kilangan may just speed up their tempo because they're a very good fast breaking team. Big Noble. Ah, he's putting it back to Belano. And Belano saying, "Pick on someone your own size." That's a lucky game. 8 minutes to go in the second period. Miller laban kay Adriano. Adriano, a pesky customer here para kay Miller. Ferriols laban kay Il Dufonso. Ferriols, nowhere to go. Inabot kay Delano who is in no man's land. Talaga nga na, parang pinagsukluban ng langit doon si Delano. Biglang naging brown out. Dahil ang lalaki ng mga pumaligid sa kanya. Si Huinho, tatawagan ng kanyang unang personal foul. And here comes the starters back for San Miguel. And uh, ito, itong mga players sa papalitan nila, getting a big hand from the San Miguel Beer supporters. Did a great, did a great job. Dahil ano eh, nakalayo itong San Miguel, uh, essentially with their second unit. Kaya nga, nagkaroon tuloy ng luxury rin itong si Coach John Wichikov uh, sitting itong si Danny Siegel on the bench. Dahil nga, with three personal fouls na itong si Danny Siegel, eh, hindi na niya pinoproblema yun masyado ngayon so far. So the five gentlemen on the hard court for the Beermen, Ontiveros, Peña, Rasela, Ildefonso, and Adriano. Again, si Peña. Oh, nice pass. Ball is back with Alapag with 14 to shoot. Alapag on the move. And the ball goes straight to Samboy Lim. All right, to see Jimmy Alapag expecting uh, Poch Winnie to clear. And Poch Winnie was cutting towards the basket. I don't know, there's a miscommunication. Ayun kay Crew Chief, Boy Cruz. Pinukraw. 
di kapten hook Kiko Adriano Kulit ang ko. Pareho makulit ko eh. Ay, oo. Off the court pa o on the court? Pareho. Pareho. In the gym. At in the car. Another foul here. Patawag. Ot Suwinyo. Pangalawa na yan ni Ot Suwinyo. Again, pocket check to the limit. The patagal pato. Lava tayo halfway through this second period, and it must be noted that San Miguel is the best, one of the best free throw shooting teams in the PBA. Shooting as a team about seventy percent. Five points now. She five out of five. She got it. Six and 40 remaining in uh, the first half. Here's Alabaga, the back to the top of the text. Bob, the guy who's in the second quarter. There's a runner by Cardona, no go. Adriano's pass almost uh, picked by Pablo Yusrasena. Fires a pass from Antinelos for three. Yay! Yes, That's a two pointer. Yes. So once again, it's a secondary break that's giving Pocket Text problems. No, maganda na yung pag-stop nila doon sa primary uh, fast break nito sa Miguel. Pero doon sa trailer, lagi sila na uh, yeah, yeah, the timeout. Score natin 45-32 in favor of San Miguel. With 6 and 11 remaining in the second period. Beauty. Mysterios. Over to Alamag. No go. Alamag. The Pocket Tech, maraming mga miss layup So, sayang yung mga opportunities na yun for them And he wants a bounce pass for Peña No! A great miss for Gloria Peña Ball stays, however, with the beer men And it's the Honcho Oh, look at Kiko Adriano Asking for that basketball, ito, pangatlong uh, chance na ito for San Miguel. Wow, kung si Dodo ng Severo, mainit na mainit talaga. And it's very frustrating, no? Medyo nakaka-stop na kayo sa so first, first prize ng uh, offense ng San Miguel, pero they keep on getting the basketball back. Asi, all muscles. Only the sixth point of the ball game for the Tao Lava. The big tap of the Lava of San Miguel, 47, 34. Pass of the Olsen, not the pick. The Tao Lava. The Tao Lava is now in the middle. 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 Here's Adriano on the right side. Adriano on the way for two. I'm going to get a little bit of this on Cagat de San Miguel because it was Dick Pablo taking on Kiko Adriano. So they isolated him right away. And Adriano using his quickness to score against Dick Pablo. Dang Lumalayo on San Miguel. This is the second quarter. Now up 49-34. Si Tao Laban ang gigigil na dito. Oh, trying to carry his team back into this ball game. Back to back baskets for Asi Taulaba. And that's an unoffensive foul. Laban uh, Gentiveros. It happened in front of Frontier. Good pressure uh, defense provided by Willie Miller. Yeah, that's an offensive foul. It took the Don Don Tiveros. Closing in on the four minute mark of the second period. Miller for three, no go. Brother Han, ito lang eh, no? Talagang one shot lang ang binibigay nito San Miguel sa pocket test both fouls. At that time, para kayo Otiveros. 
Oh! 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 Off the mark at Malinao. Pinulak ni Harvey Carey si Adriano. Kaya sabi ni Harvey Carey, hinawakan raw muna siya. Kaya niya, sabi niya na may tulak yung player sa Miguel. And this is a loose ball foul. A free throw shooting time na naman for the Beermen. Second person na laban kay Carey. Adriano has been all over the place. Adriano, one of many former FEU players who have seen action in the PBA. Also helped FEU uh, to win a UAAP championship. Shane Aglalaruba. Adriano was blocked from the unrestricted uh, free agent list. Uh, he was uh, reserved to Santa Lucia. ID. What's her name? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> In case of Palawang Pedro ni Adriano, actually an unproductive trip to the line. Miller Diaz and Paulava back to Miller. It's all about the three. Mark of the second quarter. Tomaso from here is really better at the second quarter. Power to the people. Finally, something from the outside. Para di sa posta, but now they have to do it on the defensive end. Now, eto makita nang hindi defense dito ni Jimmy Alapag, but the ball will stay with the Beermen. No time out for that. Jimmy Alapag, but the ball will stay with the Beermen. Uh, here's Rasella. Entry pass para kay Peña, who has nowhere to go. Flipping it over to Daniel. It was a block from behind by Miller. And here's the fly for three from the corner. Had a good line. Milang Pumaso. Alapag outside. Avenido over to Miller. Miller lang ni Rasella inside sa Olava. Sinagasan si Peña. And the uh, Olava. It's now in double figure with 10 points. And almost single-handedly bringing Pocket Tex back in this ball game. But it's there, it's a panga, it's a panga, it's a panga, it's a panga. Eight to shoot for San Miguel, up by eight points. Danny Ay, bottom kick carry, three to shoot. Il Defonso, not to count the ball. It's a steal for Pocket Tex. And uh, they can make it a six-point pocket, but uh, Sabini Jimela Park, why settle for six? Then they can make it a five-point game. Good to see a team play so good. Say yo, na pagum kiem. Power to the people. And it all started because Tokyo Tech started clamping down on defense. No, kanina yung uh, kaya nga sila pinapagalita ni Coach Derek Tumarin. Kenya, trying mightily to get the rebound to Noah Vail. Ito na si Miller. Miller, hesitation mode, and he goes up without the basketball, but he has free throws coming his way. And we have ball game. Yeah, why not big lang sabising eh, no? Big lang itong token text to the fouls on the defensive end, and that provided them with opportunities down at the offensive end. Ito, mapapatawag ng 30-second timeout. Itong San Miguel Beermen has the phone fouls closing out this quarter. Very strong. Doria Senya very frustrated there about something. So what was once a proud 15-point lead for San Miguel, eh, napunaw na po yan. It's just a five-point lead here in the second. The Raging Bull, Enrico Villanueva, and Daniel Defonso. Yeah, my turn. San Miguel scoreless in the last three and a half minutes. Oh, yung, uh, oh, yung defensor na natong uh, Tokyo Tech. Ito na naman. Nakaago na naman. Avenido all the way for two. Good decision by Avenido to take it all the way. Ayan, dalawa na lang ang abate ng San Miguel. 49-47. What a finishing kick 
by Target next year in the waning moments of the second quarter. And there's, there's another there. steal, and this is for the equalizer as Harvey yeah. Kelly goes all the way. What energy is being shown here by uh, the phone pals. I believe the defense have energized their offense. There's a one second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Chad Miguel hoping to write the last sentence here in the second chapter. Rafael on the ball, bouncing pass, Benja, uh, yes. But it comes about for Chad Miguel, three seconds to go. Miller can go for the lead. Yes, sir! That's a PM press, a big thing from Robert PM Power. The point of uh, San Miguel contra Pocket Vex as Danny Siegel starts the scoring here in the third quarter. Nico Halili, the South Asi, Richard Del Rosario, Eric Reyes, and Stephanie Cueva. Uh, yung, uh, Los Cuatro Fantásticos, dito sa ABC. Ayun nga, si Danny Siegel, di nang laro yan in second quarter because of three personal fouls. And now, nagpakilala bigla with uh, scoring his, uh, the first two points here in the second half. Effectively uh, giving back the lead to uh, the San Miguel Beerman as Rossella is going to score now. Coach Richie Tixon, it's a game of spurts. So far, ngayon, itong uh, San Miguel ang nangunguna sa spurt. Now, Lava. Here's Miller. A quick uh, first step against Ontiveros. Tipping is good for Carly. That's the game of Harvey Carry. He always crashes the boards. Actually, he gets most of his points of offensive rebounds and hustle. The bang pa rin ang Pirmin dito, 55-54. Here's Ontiveros. Firing a three in the face oh, oh, of Willie Miller. Nothing else you can do about that, bro. Ito na nga, DM press again for Dondon Ontiveros. It's a new Bagong TM, power to the people. 17 points today for uh, Ontiveros. Paolava, no go, and there's Harvey Carey once again. Looking like an assist from Asi Paolava. Uh, to see Harvey Carey hanging around the basket and getting back to back basket. Two points ang labang ng San Miguel, 58 56. Dito sa mga unang bahagi ng third quarter. Pull up by Rasela Wongkort. Rebound para kay Alapag. Alapag is on the move. Alapag over to Miller. Miller goes right. Miller scanning the court. Laban kay Ontiveros. Miller fires. This is Arin and Campian. Si Don Don. Here's Pablo for three. Yes, sir. TFS. Sa inyo ng bago PM. Power to the people. And Pablo has been perfect today. Yan na nga. Sabi niya, nakapagpahinga na ako ng second quarter. Pero to rin si Hardy Gary. You have to... Eventually, because he got a straight offensive rebound to see Harvey Carey. And again, now down by one point. Bone Piles regaining the lead. Here's Miller. Now he goes left. Alapag takes. Big Pablo. Oh! oh! Pablo. Pablo is as fierce as fire in this ball game. Pablo already with 20 markers to lead the way for the phone pals. Five of five from the three-point uh, range. Tremendous shooting. Ah, ito yung mga volleyballs of the Ateneo. Uh, competing in the V-League, which is being carried by ABC Sports. So manatiling nakatutok sa ABC so you can catch uh, the best collegiate volleyball players in action. Nine minutes to go in the third period. Here is Danny Siegel going base. Oh. Try to go under the bridge at uh, Sinabita ni Taolava. You know, uh, Danny Siegel had to be created at that time because he has Taolava is sa malubong sa kanya. Pinasabit na lang si Asi Taolava and will have to get his line from the strike. Danny Seager playing his uh, best brand of basketball since uh, getting a, a grave injury uh, back in 2002. Kasi hindi lang yung napapakita niya, pati defense by getting the rebound. That's right. Oh, you know, may isang facet ng game 
Danny Siegel na talagang in-improve niya with the departure niya of uh, Nick Velasco ang lumitang front line nila. So Danny Siegel has more responsibility when it comes to rebounding. 3.8 para sa Tokyo Tech. Cheers, Tai Lama. Another great assist coming from Jimmy Alapag, our league leader when it comes to assists, averaging about 8 assists a ball game. Aliyop! Oh! Danny Siegel! But just as effective. Oh, right. Pinag suspense pa ni Danny Siegel that time. Pero nilagay lang talaga yung bola inside the rim. 8 points today para kay Dynamite. Now the carry in the Hawala. Carry now quietly amassing 8 points in the ball game. Here's Rasella. To Siegel. Laban kay Pablo. Siegel, 17 footer. No. Rebound ends up with Carry. 5 points ang lamang ng pocket back. Alapag. Inside. Taolaba. And he'll not be denied. That's a great decision coming from Jimmy Alapag. Great pass. He was open for an outside shot, pero nakita niya. As if Aulama had a good position inside the paint. And Acela loses that ball. You know, it was recovered by Ontiveros. Much passing by the Pierman. That was the finishing move from Dorian Pena. I don't know if you're a basketball fan. You just have to enjoy this ball game. This is a very beautiful ball game because of the assist, the, the great passing uh, being shown to us in this squad. It's a, it's a quality ball game. Yes. And a very high scoring ball game at that. So, talaga very enjoyable to watch. Pero kain dalawa na lang yung panira. <laughs> we'll just try our best. <laughs> to, to this game justice as Peña gets uh, another brilliant assist from uh, Rasella. However, Lamang pa rin ng Tokyo Tech, 68-65 here in the third tier versus Steele. Completed by Ontiveros. Ontiveros on the move. As we near the halfway mark of the third period, Rasella will take two. Si Rasella, nainis sarili, inumpog yung sarili niya. It's a foam underneath the basket. Hindi na lang, foam yun. Very frustrated na hindi niya natapos yung kanyang layup. Here we go, Rasella. will be seeing action. Uh, perhaps, uh, siguro pa kami na ito. Isang libong All-Star game siguro. <laughs> All set, a fixture at the uh, PBA All-Star game. We'll be joined by Danny I, Danny S, Dorian P, and Dondon H. Doon sa All-Star weekend. Sabi nga ni uh, kasamang Richard, Kulang nala pati si Boy Beach Victoria, Richie Tixon, Art De La Cruz at Samboy Lim. Eh, <laughs> sumali na rin sa so All-Star Game. Eh. So, Rosella, one of the best free throw shooters. Oh, Pablo with the drive and the layup is good. Yeah, oh, si Pablo naman. Sabi niya, dali, dali, dali. Masyado na akong uh, sinaswerte sa labas. Dito naman ako sa loob. Pablo has been impeccable in this ball game. Fouls uh, up by three. Rasella, where's he going with the basketball? He fires at short. But Daniel Defonso is there for the layup and the put is the presence of uh, two red, uh, blue shirts. Yeah, Daniel Defonso playing very well in this conference. Oh, that's a block. But uh, perhaps uh, body contact coming from Peña. Daniel Defonso. Oh, free throw shooting. Ito na naman pa rin ang problema ng uh, Token Tech. Zero three for Asi Paulava. Two point lead for the phone foul, 71-69. And Tiffany ties the ball game at 71. Breaking that press by Sosa. Oh! 
That's a nice shot coming from Harvey Carey. Agutan lang, ano, magagandang tira para sa dalawang kumunan. Tsaka, ano, it, it, all, it all comes after a good pass. Here's Miller. That's going to be a foul against uh, Rosella. That's his second personal. Well, that's only the second team foul. So, Pagpinuri ko si Harvey Gary commits. Yes, uh, foul, offensive foul on Harvey Carey. Pakatlo na yan. Eric Pumarin, along with assistant coach Juan Ramos, tries to steal the fourth foul, so of course the second is win. They try to move up in the team's champion. Here's Rosella, with eight to shoot. Dearman down by two. Danny Siegel, call away, no. Hit your offensive rebound, and he will miss. Yeah, but the one dito si Asito Lava and Harvey Carey for that rebound. That's why the ball will stay with the Beerman. Four and 31 remaining in what has been a pulsating third period. Both teams playing quality ball games. Tigo splitting two defenders, getting his own miss. And he's still so home there. He has uh, 12 points today. Adding a rebound to his statistics for uh, scoring. It will be Danny Tigo. Our Lava picks up the loose ball. That's a shoot pass. The ball effects. I'm Lava at 73. Here's Miller on the right side. Miller on the goal. No. Matipi talaga yung banggaan sa ilalim. Ibang klase talaga. Yeah, Dorian Peña will be called for that. So Nasi in the better position. Rebounding position there. Uh, nasa likod to si Dorian Peña. Kaya siya yung natawagan ng uh, over-the-back foul. That's a top one also. Lost his defensive position as he came back from that uh, attempt to double team. Uh, 3 and 48 remaining in the third period. And phone pals are looking to shatter the deadlock with this possession. Very offensive rebound. Oh, and then another loose ball foul. In a tower, he also was there. Number four. Uh, uh, a penalty from uh, San Miguel Diaz. Brandon Cablay checks in for also Rosella. Pablo, oh, oh, finally missing from the field. Here's Danny Siegel. Siegel on the ball. Siegel on the way. Danny Siegel is just making up for lost time in the first half. Now with 14 points. On the post, late shot. Aligan Lamont to 70, 75, 73 as he goes in on the three minute mark of the third period. Alapaz, 4-3, off the mark. And Carey will try to save the ball and almost runs into Eric Reyes. Many San Miguel beer men who will be in Cagayan de Oro. 11 points in this quarter. Leading the San Miguel resurgence in this ball game after they relinquished 15-point lead back in the first half. Here's uh, San Miguel's uh, unit on the floor. Peña, Ablay, Noble, Ontiveros, and Sigo. Otto Sigo Blay now having two quarterbacks. I have a four personal foul snatch here at Sela. Sigo hand tie. Oh, tough shot from Danny Sigo. It was a tough shot for me. I don't know for Danny Sigo, but um, just another day at work.
go and I have to go in the third period. Aba, tangi na habol ng Stock and Text. Cardona. Back in the ball game after a long stint on the bench. Now Lava, Lava kay Peña. Here's Pablo for three. At bagabat, bintis yung tira ni Pablo. He will go to the line. Yan na nga eh, kasi bagyang nalibre doon si Vic Pablo. He's running the line to Mabit and decide to recover. So Pablo will once again troop to the line. Kanina eh, tatlong bintis ang pinipawa nitong si Vic Pablo from the free throw. Na-foul na rin siya kanina from the three-point range. Tingnan natin. Pablo's career has also evolved. He started out as a pure power forward in college. Tapos naging parang shooting power forward when he entered the, the PBA. It took him some time to find his identity. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yung tamang position niya dito sa PBA. But now he's blossomed into a dependable veteran steady shooter. Actually, he, he has expanded his range. Eh, dahil dati, puri ang mga paposte-poste na. Tapos quick turn na rin. Pero now, because of the pagdating ng mga malalaking mama, eh, palaki na ng palaki mga players dito sa PBA, kailangan talaga i-adjust na yung game niya. Chris Cardona Delano Yes sir TM3 Sapit sa inyo ng bago TM Power to the people oh, Talaga Grabe ang shoot Shootout dito Between Talk and Tex And San Miguel At uh, ngayon Lamang na muli Ang Talk and Tex 78 77 Under 2 minutes to go In the third quarter Benya Binalik kay Gablay Gablay 4-3 No go Rebound para kay Cardona Delano to Pablo. Pablo gives it to uh, Taolaba Laban Kid Peña. This is an ombre matchup. That would be last touch against San Miguel. Well, you can notice the similarity between the strategies and playing styles of both these teams. They start their play at the post. Dahil nga meron sila mga good post-up players. And they get the points from the outside because of good kickouts after double team stop. One dials up by a precarious point. Here's Delano firing over Peña. Oh, there's oh, Harvey Carey once again. You know, Mabeta Carey, he has the great combination strength and agility. At saka, alam mo, dito kay Harvey Carey, he doesn't have a single play designed for him, but he still manages to get his points. Ngayon, meron na 12 points and 11 boards because of pure hustle. And that will extend the phone pass lead to three. Danny Siegel. Alos nakaupo na sa ere. Si Carrie ang tatawagan ng foul. That's going to be his fourth. Personal and that will be the third team foul laban sa talking text. Uh, thus sending Danny Siegel to the line. You see Danny Siegel trying to take charge for the Beermen here in the third period. Danny points already here in uh, this quarter alone. Ah, may ring ano dito, no? Sterling individual performances. And you go back to the first uh, quarter, Vic Pablo was sensational. Modern Ontiveros was sensational for Sally in the first half. Right. In the third quarter, Sally Siegel has been uh, a uh, good man wrecking crew. So, uh, Fariol's uh, saunters back onto the court. Pablo will sit down. Avenido also back in the game. Sa mga tuwid, uh, tatlo na ang uh, blood beauties <laughs> ng Pokitex oh. on the hard court. Siguro they like playing with each other so much. No? Kaya nagpare-pareho uh, sila ng uh, hairstyle or hair color. Either Kaya pinagsasabay sila sa loob oh. ng court. Either that or uh, there must be a blood epidemic. Nakakaawa <laughs> <laughs> yan ng Pokitex. Here's how many go. What happened here? Ball will go to the Beerman. Hey, one 
wonder if uh, the team also pays for their uh, hair too. And then we have, you know, the <laughs> 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 I don't think so. <laughs> 18 seconds remaining in the third period. The joint sound by Nabu Dito ng Sanjige. Go to the hot hand. Danny Siegel. Oh. And his pass was intercepted by Belano. Belano on the ball with four seconds to go in the third period. Belano. Hi, tight situation there. That will end the third period. Power to the people. Second, the TM3 uh, for the evening. Para kay Calabio. Talaga high scoring itong ball game natin. Only uh, one period wherein uh, itong San Miguel failed to score in at least 20 points. And that was back in the second quarter. That's the ball. Tengo mo na may loose ball foul. Against uh, Ferriol. Let's go to Eric Grace. Well, Miko, he emphasized that the coach Derek Kumarin is the ball rotation or he swing lang kagad yung pasa because masyadong tight yung defense in San Miguel. So, hindi talaga kayo ma beat yung uh, uh, defense ng San Miguel with just one pass but a lot of extra passes. Now, pagbalik daw ni Danny Sigat, it's very important that they really close out Harvey's game. Uh, well, in defense, kasi talaga nag iint na nga si Danny Sigat nung third quarter. Back to you, Miko. Uh, salamat Eric, there is now a cause for serious concern para sa San Miguel Birmen. Uh, Dono Nontiveros looks like he's hurt. That's right, he's hobbling back to the bench of uh, San Miguel. Let's take a look at the bench of uh, Pocatec Compound. So we hope that it's nothing serious for uh, Dono, he probably has brain. There's Daniel Defonso. Six points, uh, but he does have eight rebounds in the ball game. One point, tang na ina abu dito tang sa Miguel, 82-81. Ano ba kita naman natin yung field goal shooting percentage? Nataas pa rin for both squads. So sa Miguel shooting a better clip, 55 percent. Aminito and Tatuaga no Kwan, that's his second personal. Shot at 14 seconds. That will be the second team foul, laban sa Talking Text, here in the payoff period. Muli po, magandang kabi sa kanilang lahat, Nico Halili, kasama si Richard Del Rosario. Eric Reyes, Stephanie Cueva, as Nick's Goblet slips. Natulak din ng bahagya ni Ferriol. Sabi ni John Ferriol, si Chiso talaga natulak na. Pero ito ang ginagawa dito na San Miguel. They're going to that perceived mismatch of Leo Avenido guarding Danny Siegel. But there's a quick double team defense coming from Tonkin Tech. So ito na naman. Nahanapin ulit nila si Danny Siegel. But as he was going to the post, he was bumped by Poch Winio. His first person that has been a veteran on his watch for Wino. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Here's Danny I working from the right side. Laban de Ferriol. Here's Gablai. Open three. No. Avenido gets the rebound for Crockett Pex. They're up by one. Bellano stops and drops. That's good. TF Chris. It's a new bottom TF. Power to the people. It's just a great addition to the Talking Text lineup. No? And ngayon, you don't have to overextend the minutes of Jimmy Alapal because you know Don Bel Bellano can provide the firepower uh, in the absence of Jimmy Alapal as he's resting on the bench. Efficient move coming from uh, Danny Siegel. At uh, meron na po siyang 19 points. Meron lamang pa rin ang talking text. 85, 83. Wala na si pa. It will stay with talking text. Okay, yung tira ni uh, Belano kanina was ruled a point basket. So, uh, ipo 3 points yung... Uh, Binitawan kanina ni Belano. Rasela is itong si Don Bel Belano. It's supposed to be a three-point shot. So we'll try to uh, get to the bottom of that uh, 
three-point uh, basket, Russian on that three-point basket in just a while. In the meantime, Bola nakikaplay. He gets outed by Delano and Avenido. And a foul is spotted on the phone pass. And more importantly, that will put the phone pass in the penalty. With still nine and a half minutes remaining, so this might be a problem for Top and Tex. As uh, tong, uh, San Miguel can very well exploit the situation. Nine and twenty to go in the ball game. Danny Seagull has been unstoppable here in the second half. Uh, scoring of 18 of his 21 points here in the second half of play. Ruizio. He's not in the middle. No. Seagull. Quickly to Rosella. Rosella on the ball. Rosella is down. And two shots will be given here to Olsen Rosella. And Dynamite Danny Seagull has exploded here in uh, getting his two points. Sino ba ang pipigil dito kay uh, Danny Seagull? Sa ngayon ang pinakamalaking tinig sa tagiliran ni Coach Derek Pumarin, Tronji Aldaba. Trying to uh, put things in order here as we go to Eric Reyes. Well, just to give you an update on the injury of Dondon Hontiveros. Well, nakausap po si Dondon, ang sabi niya sa akin, he stepped on the foot of Mac Macardona and he twisted his chest. He went to the paper of San Miguel, pina-retape niya yung kanyang ankle, uminom lang ng painkiller. Sabi niya sa akin, makakabalik pa siya. It would all depend on uh, Coach Jong with Chico kung kakailanganin siya. Back to you, Miko. Yan, makita mo, medyo sinistretch nitong si uh, Dondon Hontiveros, yung kanyang uh, left ankle. But I'm sure... Kakakailanganin pa nga ni uh, Coach Jong Uchiko itong uh, outside sniping nitong si Dondon Ontiveros. San Miguel Pilmen and a talking tax full pounds Corpunal in 87 for San Miguel 85 for talking tax that's right, oh, with the wall, average si Chris Calagio na surpassed na niyan tonight already with 8 points in this very close ball game. If you just join us, uh, kababalik nyo lang uh, mula sa inyong afternoon, afternoon merienda, perhaps early Sunday mass. Uh, it's a close ball game now, but uh, back in the first half, lumang ng 15 puntos ang San Miguel. Pero itong talking text, had an impressive finishing kick in the second quarter. At the half, 52-51. But since then, uh, it has been seesaw for uh, both squads. That's right. It's very well balanced in the matchup between San Miguel and Tokyo Tech. So they uh, well, be guy at Tito. In this, you ni Ruido. San Miguel uh, looking to uh, expand their two-point lead. Danny Siegel has been the man of the moment. You know, Danny Siegel seems to end up with a, a taller guy on him. That's why he's using his quickness to drive towards the basket. And that help defense will end up in Cipochuino that time. But to foul Danny Siegel, as Danny Siegel will once again troop to the line. With this 21 points, now made it happen for Sana. Lava getting ready to check in. You know, I've I've talked to many amateur players who have thoughts of going uh, pro. Lahat ng mga shooting guard, at lahat ng mga small forward. Ang kanilang pinakakinakatakuran na having a matchup with Danny Siegel. Because if you're big, then he's too fast. If you're small, then Danny's too big. <laughs> Yun <nga> eh. Understandably <laughs> so, no? Kaya nga, well, if you want to make it here's PBA, well, you have to study the moves of this guy, Danny Siegel, and learn how to defend against him for teams to have an interest against you. Kasi, even in a draft, they're looking for players who can uh, match up against Danny Siegel because he provides a very interesting mismatch for San Miguel. 
closing in on the eight minute mark of the payoff period. Miller pinasa kay Delano sa the corner. Adi bola na tapik, magpunta kay Rosella. Rosella on the board. Over to Kablai. Kablai. Oh, no! Here's Delano. Bangs into Rosella. That's an offensive foul. That draws a howl of protest from uh, Derek Marin and the entire Rocket Next bench. Score made by Robert King. Seven and a half uh, remaining in the ball game. Here's Ferriol, Slabot K. Siegel. Ferriol, that's his money move. Has been his money move for uh, many years now. And uh, that will uh, trim down San Miguel's lead to two. Siegel against Ferriol. Siegel makes his goal. Oh! Danny Siegel! Way, you know, who can stop Danny Siegel so far? Wala! Nobody can stop this guy. He has put Asitao Lava in the middle of the lane to prevent any penetration. But si Danny Siegel saw that and uh, had a fadeaway jumper. And he has a three-point play. So Siegel, the number one scorer in the PBA, has 26 points. Monteveros back in the game after uh, hurting his ankle earlier. Ito na naman si Siegel now against Taulava. Siegel over to Danny. Ah, uh, yes, sir! You know, it just makes it easier for his teammates because they know now that every time Siegel has the ball, eh, talagang uh, magko-collapse in defense. All you have to do is be patient in receiving a pass the ball and you will get your shot. Aulava. Alcaveros uh, with his second straight rebound. Rasela fires a pass by Ice Eagle. He is guarded by Delano. Rasela for three. Oh, they forgot to box out Danny Ilkifonso. And that will cost them. Dahil big lapong lumayo dito on San Miguel. And as he swings back to live action. Natama ang Sigo will be tagged with a foul and that's going to be his fifth personal. And that was a three-point attempt from Jimmy Alapag. A three. The only great thing happened you see here. That was a ulo ni Orson Rosella. So three free throws for the mighty bounce. Jimmy Alapag. Wow. Yung story natin at the top of the coverage has been the free throw shooting uh, here at Pocket Pex. And now they're missing free throws at the crucial stage of this ball game. Yeah, going back to the first half, Pablo was awarded three free throws in the same manner and he missed all three. Yes, that's right. right. The same thing is happening to uh, Alapagas. Rosella is sent back to the bench because of five personal fouls. Si Kaplay at magalit sa kanyang pwesto. Alapag, one out of three on that trip to the line. He has ten markers. Pero lamang pa rin. Nang ocho puntos ang San Miguel, 96-88. We are in the fourth quarter of play. Wala ngayon na kay Ontiveros. Looking for Danny Siegel, who has been red hot. Simply blustering here in the second half. Si nasa kay Ontiveros for three. No. Danny Hill Defonso towering high for the rebound bagong shot lang para sa San Miguel here's Kablai for 3 no and the ball ends up with Alapa Miller short on the attempt si Benya Taulava locking arms battle for the rebound as they have been doing the whole ball game for Dorian Peña ang patatawagan ng foul pang apat na ni Dorian Peña yan nakahabol po rito ang talking text Miller with a pick with a drive The Ontiveros has a lot of foul. The second person is the Ontiveros. And there is no penalty for San Miguel. Here is Carey. 
But Taylor on the right side, Lapake, Danny Siegel. Now Lava, no. Miller on the ball, big sacking inside, blocked by Danny Al. Oh, good defense there from Danny Al, being patient. And uh, waiting for the seventh remaining in the ball game. Pablo inside, Taulava triple team. And the ball ends up with Asi. Asi, one more try. And Robert King says, halt. You know, I just have to applaud the effort of Dodon Otiveros. He's not going to be able to do it. Brandon Kablai said, I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. The third person, Alapan K. Kablai. San Miguel with 14 fouls here in the quarter. And about to Pablo from the corner. No. They might be Mintis na itong si Big Pablo after uh, a brilliant shooting performance in the first half. Walo ang labang ng San Miguel. 96-88. Monteveros. Goes right. Goes to Seagal. Laban kay Pablo. Seagal. Makatira. Now he fires. Up shot para kay Siegel. He was covered by Pablo. Miller on the move. Miller spins. Oh, oh there's a steal by Kablai. It's Kablai against Alapag. Kablai fans into Alapag. And that's an offensive foul. That's right. He'll, uh, actually, Brandon Kablai wanted to wait for Danny Siegel, who's streaking okay. down the court. Yeah, good defense here. Employed by uh, Jimmy Alapag. And you have to remember, nakabalik ang token text towards the end of our first half because of good defense, and that's what they have to do now. Uh, and they started it with that good defense by Jimmy Alapag. Walo ang inahapol dito ng token text with under four minutes to play in the ball game. The ball will sail out in favor of San Miguel. So now the outside shooting of uh, Talk and Text not falling for them. Nagita natin, no? Grabe, rest of the team 22. Danny Siegel, hinigitan pa yung scoring nila dito sa second half. And now it's San Miguel Pyramid. So time out muna para sa San Miguel. Three and a half uh, remaining in the ball game. Time is now on San Miguel's side. They have Siegel, Monteveros, Racela, Ildiponso, and Peña. Missed by Danny Siegel. Rebound para kay uh, Alapag. Both now really need a basket here to fuel a possible uh, comeback with 3 and 14 remaining in the ballgame. Now they'll be getting the stops. Eh. Kaya nga problema. They're having a hard time scoring. So at the three-minute mark of the final period, walo pa rin ang abante rito ng San Miguel. So they have their best unit on the court right now. Kenya. With a double-double tonight. Three to shoot. He did it again. Oh, he goes in. What a play. Off the pass. So, magaling na. May halos ang suerte. Here's Taulava. Top inside. Benya with the rebound. Not much patience being shown here in the offensive side of Top and Tech. Let's see the shot block story. And before the Talawa and Top and Tech, not a single block comes to their staff. And he's Eagle. Has been unstoppable here in the second half. Over to Danny I. Danny I, no go. And there's Dorian Pena doing damage inside. Don't look down. Both in hand. Off that timeout. Uh, turnover committed here by the phone pals. There's Kablai. Okay, Papumasa with the pick me, Pablo. Under two minutes to play in the ball game. Here's Pablo. He makes Cartona goes baseline and a teardrop goes go in. Captain Hook, six points for uh, the Talking Text rookie. Oh, oh, oh. Now, we're pushing on the Danny Siegel over to Danny Ice. 
Nagagabit na po ng oras ang San Miguel. And rightly so. Uh, top by 10 big points. Rolling pass to Danny Ice. Here's Peña. Peña fires. No goal. Oh, the ball stays with San Miguel. And the Pyramid will keep their winning run alive. You know, right, that's been the story here in the in the fourth, no? Yung uh, lumayo ang San Miguel. All because of second chance opportunities. And of course, because of the hot shooting of Danny Siegel. Alapag, the Pablo for three. Oh, yes, sir. Pablo for three. Sa pang TM3 para kay Pablo, 27 points to Pablo. It's a new Pablo TM, power to people. And the foul is uh, called by Robert Ting against Harvey Carey. Talking text. He's trying to save as much time as possible by giving up foul. Well, wala ka ng choice, pero you just have to foul your trailing by seven points and you're fouling the best free throw shooting team you know pag sinilip natin yung uh, free throw uh, shooting ng uh, talking text uh, your coach Derek Pumarin it's going to uh, make you uh, that's right uh, the numbers do not the field goal shooting percentage as a team Free throw shooting percentage, rather. So only at 55%. He points. Ang kailangan purahin dito ng uh, Covid text. 32 seconds to go. Pablo zigzagging inside. Hand off. Asi for the pass. Will the phone pals have enough time? To uh, wrap up the six point deficit. But now they, they are starting to send uh, San Miguel players to the free throw line. Third personal, Laban K. Pablo. Talking text in the penalty. Well, 26 seconds is uh, enough time to overhaul the six point lead. Also, you have to hope that uh, San Miguel will be missing their free throws. Yeah, the medyo nagbimintis. Kanina nagmintis na rin si Daniel Defonso na isa. Now Danny Siegel missing the front end of his charities. Yeah, no free throw shooting. 8 of 20 for talking sense. Grabe. So, pito ang kailangan burahin dito ng uh, phone pals. Alapag for three. No goal. Peña with another rebound. Dorian Peña. What a game. 21 points. And 14 rebounds. Wow. I mean, you, to explain why San Miguel has been unbeatable as of late. Peña has 21 points and 14 rebounds. Ildefonso with a double double, 11 points, 10 rebounds. Danny Siegel exploding for 25 points. Sorry, 27 points. 24 coming in the second half alone. Ontiveros has 17 points. And Olsen Resella has eight points, but he uh, is always an impeccable quarterback for San Miguel. How do you stop this San Miguel juggernaut? Well, so, so far, nobody has found the answer to that. You see him free throw shooting, San Miguel. There you go, 21 of 28. Alam mo kung sa Biblia, may tinatawag na four horsemen of the apocalypse. Oh, San Miguel, they have five. <laughs> Their entire starting unit, the five horsemen of the apocalypse. And all those five horsemen huh, are headed to the All-Star Game. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tsaka, mo, nakakabilive dyan. They've been doing it consistently. You know, each game. Talagang very consistent na performance oh. from the Mangto. Then you have quality role players coming off the bench. As Ontiveros will just waste the time away. And the Pyramid will roll on to their seventh consecutive win. They will also snap a three-game winning streak at the moment. Yeah, no? So who will stop San Miguel? Nobody. Talk and text give, gave a spirited fight here. Medyo nung bandang huli na lang talaga. San Miguel, it was close all the way. Ayan, si Ocean Rosela. Oh yes, uh, San Miguel, number one pa rin sa ating team standings with this impending win. Ang uh, susunod na mga kalaban, 
Uh, ng San Miguel Beermen will be Pearful. Pero ano pa to? After. After the All-Star Game pa to. May 5. So Pearful ang susunod na magtatangkang. Pati rin itong uh, hindi mapatid-patid na San Miguel. Ang napakagandang laban doon. San Miguel Pearful. The two top teams. And pocket text on the other hand. will try to bounce back against Preston after oh. May 3. So despite relinquishing a 15-point lead earlier in the game, the awesome firepower of uh, San Miguel.